today on celebrity script oh Kokodaki is a lover of God. I love everything to do with church and kingdom work. Um, I am a very, I wouldn't say I'm an introvert. I wouldn't say I'm an extrovert as well, so somewhere in the middle. I'm a very fun loving person. I mean, I'm a Pisces, born in March, so you know how we behave, um, you know how we do. I'm a very um, fun loving person. I love everybody who loves me. And obviously, I don't hate people who hate me, but I love them equally, even though, yeah, I tolerate them. And I love writing, singing, I love swimming, I love acting, I love doing voiceovers, I love um, anything to do with drama, comedy. Um, um, yes, I, I should think I've mentioned everything that I love. Um, I love music. <laughs> and then I love. I basically love what I do. Yes. <laughs> I think acting was not a career choice. It just came to me. And I say that because um, when I was born at three years old, my mother would talk about all these things that I used to do as a kid. I think I, it was very easy for me to play roles. I would take on any role at all. And when I got burnt and I was taken to the hospital, my mom said that I would entertain the nurses and doctors. And even when um, I was leaving, they didn't want me to leave. So I would try to do their hair, pretend I'm, I'm selling them stuff. I'm a market seller pretend that I'm a nurse, a doctor, and be taking care of them. So, and then sometimes I would make them laugh when I thought that they were being too serious and sad. So I think at that age, my mom saw something, but she didn't really know what it was until like she would watch me concentrate so much on TV. And basically when they, like people asked me what I wanted to be in future, trust me, acting was not a part of it. I always saw myself as like a banker, or into accounting and stuff like that like i also thought i'd be a lawyer i also thought you know it was basically mixed up stuff that i wasn't so sure of because i i see myself in every single career so acting really really came to me like i started with dancing and that's why i went to the university the school of performing arts university of ghana and that's where i got trained into choreography but um because we had um uh, theater there as well and music I engaged in all of them so I was in the choir I was in the music department playing my flutes I was also in the theater arts department acting all the time in our stage um, productions I engaged in a lot of things that um, basically everybody knew that I loved in, in the arts so arts was me and then I had to just make a choice so it was choreography that I mastered in but then because I would do a lot of stage productions and I was called out for more stage productions, I ended up shifting myself towards um, acting more than dancing. And also because I thought I was growing and you know, you can't dance forever. Tide acting, this is my craft. I have a beauty studio in Damsama. Um, and I take care of beauty, all beauty needs. So providing you products you need, um, both internally <laughs> and your outward appearance as well. So I do pedicures here, I do makeup, I do wake caps, I do massages, I do facials, and then yeah, basically special effects are just. Um, I ha I know a couple of things that I do on set um, when I'm asked to be a makeup artist on on, on set as well. So yes. I'm a beauty therapist. What inspires me to act? I'm a drama queen. <laughs> I I I watch a lot of series. Um, I watch a lot of movies. I watch a lot of and I you know when you you feel yourself getting into a scene and actually acting it out like you see yourself as a particular person in the movie or in the series it's like it's you and I'm like I can do this like that is how I feel when I'm watching movies and series so 
in my head i'm there processing i can do this i want to do this this is what i love doing it's it's my passion okay so the passion the love for it inspires me to do it and that's why i act that's why i love acting so much i think it's the love and passion yeah growing up i saw the i told you so's and akata nakata akata nakata <laughs> you know all those old actors and, and actresses and i love them so much they are my childhood celebrities i mean from the grace of marbles to you know all of those people so i don't have a i have a lot of people uh, celebrities that i i used to look up to um growing up yes I'm going to mention names but i'm just going to do like a couple and then I'll, I'll say that you should guess. So this is my first one. Oh, oh, This is my second one. I will slap you, I will give you a dirty slap you will never forget. Hey! Okay, so that's my second one. I couldn't really get the things that she says, but I don't know if you can guess. Um so my third one. Oh, get away. Get away. Oh, I shall woo fion fion. I shall woo fion fion. Oh, musu when you were. Oh, I'll do the more video. Yes, you guessed right. That's Mark Jordan. The previous ones you had to guess yourself. I'm not going to tell you. But I hope I acted it out well. I don't know if I did. But yes, these are people that I look up to. These are just. Challenges? Gosh, we have many. I wouldn't say I. It's an industry, so I'll say we have many. Um, the industry is not supported enough. I mean, I would say we are least. We are the least of everyone's problems and issues. We are left to cater for ourselves. We are left to go search for sponsorship. We are left to do productions, major productions on our own. When the grace comes, it's Ghana. When it doesn't, we are blamed. The industry is blamed. So I feel that we are not supported enough. The industry has is, is the least of the careers that they expect to bring income into the, into the system. But here we are, we were born into this world and given different talents and gifts and skills. And if my skill is acting, you can't tell me that I need to let it go. It's one of the gifts that I was born with. And if I can make money, because that is when you love what you do, it easily comes to you and, and you are able to express yourself and do it and do it well. And then you need to be paid for it as well. But here we regard actors and actresses very less and then we expect them to do better. I don't know how that works but um basically that is what worries me most i don't believe in rushing into things that um will make you handicapped so i believe in taking one step at a time and anytime you take that step the people that you can carry with you you carry the people that you can't who want to let you go just let them go see the heartbreaks will come the failures will come Sometimes you feel like giving up on every on, on everything and we all go through it. But just have that one person. Just have God on your side and just have that one person or just have that one head that will always be there to listen, to help you through your situation. Because trust me, sometimes you are not enough to make yourself happy. You need other people to make yourself happy. And that is why we that is why we live on earth with other people. That is one. Two, do not put pressure on yourself. 
social media is giving out a lot of pressure trust me sometimes there are certain videos i don't even open i don't even watch immediately i see it i scroll up because i know that is not my lifestyle i know i cannot live that lifestyle if i can watch comfortably watch it and not feel bad about my life and myself i would why not those that i think i'm not comfortable with i don't watch if i'm if i'm sad i stay in my shop i have my tv i have my tools i work on things that my clients have given me to work on love what you do and then make sure that you're doing something you have passion about so that you can do it and do it well thank you for more videos like this one subscribe to our youtube channel thank you for watching